Un beso grande. Cafecito. We are in New York City with actress and singer Jackie Cruz. You were born in New York, yes. um, but you grew up in New York, Los Angeles, and Dominican Republic. Santiago. Can you talk to me a little bit about um, your upbringing, your childhood, um, and some of the challenges you faced? Yeah, I was born in Queens, New York. My mother moved me to the Dominican Republic when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I was raised by my five amazing, powerful DS. And I always had this dream since I was six years old when I saw like Whitney Houston in The Bodyguard. It was all dubbed in Spanish, but I was like in love with her. And uh, I was like, okay, I want to be an actress and a singer. Like, that's what I want. So my mom was like, okay, if that's what you really want to do. She started putting me in, in lessons. I, I played the saxophone. I took singing lessons, acting classes, and I was six. And at 15, she moved me to Hollywood to become an actress. So after that, I went to Music Academy mm -hmm. in Hamilton Music Academy. And then I had a huge car accident when I was 17. Really awful. But um, I had brain surgery. You know, it was like... I had to learn how to walk, talk, everything. You were homeless for a little while as a teenager, right? Because I was a bad kid. Like, I didn't like my mother's rules, a Dominican mom. She's very strict. I was like, I'm going to move out. And she's like, oh, you want to be an adult? Go ahead. Yeah, so I was homeless for a little bit. But my, I tried to go back home, and she's like, no, this is how it is to be an adult. You go be an adult. It just made me who I am today. Like, I appreciate everything that's happening to me, and I stay grounded. Like, you have no idea. I know how it is to be, like, the lowest low. And now, right now, like, all these flashing lights. We did something for with Glassbook Magazine for, you know, homeless for, for mm -hmm. the youth, for the holidays. So that was really, that's really important for me, too. It's all gelling right now. So I'm supposed to put on that fail hairnet and scrub pots and pants every day because it's gelling? I'm so much better than that. You saying you're better than me? No, you're good, too. All I'm saying is that I got aspirations. I always have, even in here. You know, when I wear that apron in the kitchen, I'm really wearing it ironically. Let's talk about uh, this big role. You have Flaca mm -hmm. and, and Orange is the New Black. How much of uh, Flaca is, is like you? I always say she's much cooler than me. Like, I was such a nerd in high school. I didn't have a lot of friends. And if you saw her backstory, like, she was, like, the cool one. She dressed really cool. And she had all these crazy ideas. And she says what's on her mind, which I don't. I wish I was a little more like her. She has thicker skin than me. Oh, Why'd you change the station? That reggaeton gives me a headache. It's the same thing over and over. How come none of these stations play the Smiths? Because music. How soon is now? It's like an 80s anthem. Yeah, we, we have that passion for music. But, you know, she listens to the Smiths. She has cool style. Like, she's right. Americanized like me. Like, there's, like, the millennial Latina, you know? Well, we're here in New York City at mm -hmm. P&G's um, Orgullosa, Living Fabulosa yes. event where the theme is tonight the Living import, Fabulosa. Living Fabulosa. Orgullosa de ser Latina. Exacto, exacto. And also one of, the, one of the major themes of the discussion tonight is about Latinas um, and the importance of having role models and yeah. mentors. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of the role models and mentors through your life? You know, I was raised in the Dominican Republic. I didn't really see a lot of us on TV. And um, the one person that, you know, sticks out is obviously Selena. She was somebody that I was like, wow. Well, I was a kid, but she's like, she's a singer and she's in America and she's actually making it happen. It's so important because I honestly didn't have a lot of um, people I looked up to growing up. You know, I never saw anyone like me on TV. Well, now there are Latinas looking at TV, looking at you. Mm -hmm. You're the roles. That's sort of actually so special to me. That's actually the most important thing. Like I do inspirational speeches around um, the, the U.S. And um, I think now having a voice and having, you know, other uh, Latinas or any type of young woman look up to me is like the most special thing. What advice do you have for that young Latina out there, that young person out there that's facing some challenges? So you've had definitely some challenges. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I mean, physically, I thought like, wow, I'm not pretty enough. Like, I'll never be able to be on TV because I was, had brain surgery. I was cross-eyed. I couldn't smile. Like, if you see the picture, it's ridiculous. So I would look at myself, I was like, all I see in Hollywood are like beautiful people and I'm like, there's no way I could make it. But let me tell you something, beauty is something that comes from within and I learned that the hard way. And trust me, with your personality, with your talent, you could do anything that you want. Hi, how are you? I'm Jackie Cruz. You may know me as La Flaca on Orange is the New Black and you're watching Cafecito. 
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.